with it. Hi, everybody. Once again, it's the uh, Tom and Sid Show and another presentation of TV VP Style. And, of course, this is starring our village president, Tom Cullerton, who happens to sit on my right for a change. No, it's always that way. But uh, And I am Sid Berg, and Tom, welcome aboard. Welcome back again, because, you know, you were out on the ball field so many times watching those uh, little tykes of yours, those little people. We had, a great, we had a great season this year. We had a great youth baseball turnout this year. Villa Park Youth Baseball, another fantastic year. Uh, it caused me to miss some of the shows. Uh, and towards the playoff, I believe I was late for one board meeting because we were in a heated playoff battle. Uh, and, you know, being the head coach, I just couldn't uh, couldn't bear to, to take away. Uh, we ended up winning the World Series uh, in Villa Park. It was a, a great time for the kids. They absolutely loved it. My son, Jack, had a, had a great season and, and really enjoyed himself. And then uh, just to let you know, also what capitalized and finished off this past week, uh, the Villa Park Youth Mariners, well, not Youth Mariners, the Villa Park Mariners, the swim team, uh, finished their season off and did an absolutely tremendous job at their B Conference and their A Conference Finals. We got some great swimmers. There are a ton of kids out there. If you read the papers, every weekend there's a huge list of kids from the Mariners that are swimming, all the different age groups. They start at age six. They go all the way to age, uh, I believe they take all the high school kids for summer program to swim for that as well because of the winner, the Willowbrook kids and the Addison Trail kids combined to make one team. So in the summer, they utilize their own separate pools, and they do that. But it's a great time. So, Sid. Well, I just want to – I'll just add to that a little bit by saying that not only are the uh, Mariners a a great uh, organization, but it's something, too, that just about everybody should teach their – have their kids taught or teach their kids how to swim. Right. And water safety. Uh, because it can be such fun, but it can be dangerous. Well, just recently you had the guy who passed away because his, his stepson fell in up at the uh, up at the river, up in St. Charles. Up, up, up in Geneva. The, or Geneva. Yeah. The, yeah. the 12-year-old fell in. He didn't know how to swim, so the, the stepdad jumped in. He wasn't a really good swimmer, but he was able to push the boy closer to safety, but then the bicyclists came by, and by the time they got to the stepfather, he had passed away. You're right. Water safety is a huge, huge issue. And uh, they they were kind of wrong. They were wrong by being so close, fishing so close to the dam, because right. there's a there's an undertow or a revolving current in there right. that uh, a person can get stuck in for. Uh, I agree. For weeks. In fact, my son-in-law caught uh, snagged a guy down off that same dam that had been in the water about a week. And uh, my son-in-law... Little known fact about the Berg family. They're finding them swimming with the fishes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he found this guy, and he was... Uh, my son-in-law was a, a Vietnam veteran, did okay. two tour, tours in there, and uh, was a combat veteran, a combat Marine. And uh, so finding the body was kind of used to him. Right. But the guy that was with him, he had to study. He said, uh, took one look at him, at the, his partner, and my son-in-law said, go get the cops. There <laughs> you go, yeah. There. But, uh, well, Sid, what's going on this week? Well, I, I wanted to reiterate, because it's been so warm and it's we're still looking at some warm places, there's places to go for cooling centers, and the library is one. Uh, if you don't have air conditioning and you get overly heated, if you can get to the library, right, uh, they'll be glad to help you there. That's, just, uh, that's one thing. Now, oh, last week and this last Sunday, yesterday, uh, again, once again, this is being uh, taped live, done live, on uh, Monday the 8th of uh, August. And if you're watching it now, I'm, when I refer to yesterday, I'm referring to so August Sunday. 7th. Right. Uh, but if you're watching it during the week or on tape, then you'll have to bear along with us and do the adding. Uh, but we had the, uh, the VFW picnic, which is a an annual affair of our post, and we take our the post and friends, and we just had a, a ball. And, of course, uh, now I don't partake about it anymore. I've uh, drank more than my quarter for the, uh, this life. But uh, the beer was rolling free and free, and uh, there were hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken, and, and uh, uh, even the adult. Well, we had kids in it, too, an egg toss, the egg game, you know. Very where, good. Uh, 
And the, the sad part on that was that after the picnic, uh, going home and getting leaving a few a little early, going home and uh, going to a wake for a gentleman by the name of uh, George Kolak. George was a uh, about a sixty year resident of Villa Park. Wow. And uh, oh, 59 year member of the VFW. Wow. And uh, I don't know, I, I have the, I suppose it's a privilege. It's something that I do. It's kind of hard to do a lot, but I did a eulogy for him because he was a friend. Right. Uh, well, that makes for a tough afternoon. That was a, it was a long day. I got to imagine that was a long day. And uh, then we also, Oh, another thing I just wanted to remind people of. Uh, it, it, for an organization that you may belong to, it could be a block club, could be the PTA, it could be almost anything uh, that is a small type of, uh, uh, of organization. Uh, maybe it's the executive committee of a Boy Scout troop. Uh, their Speakers Bureau of uh, Villa Park, you can call uh, the regular village number and uh, ask a P, uh, somebody to come out to talk about uh, what's going on in Villa Park or a particular thing of that they're nice. going out. Uh, the Historical Society has got a wealth of information about what you're talking about, what has gone on in the past here right. in town and how we've evolved into where we are right now. Well, and, and if they want, they should take a trip to the Historical Museum because that is a great place to go. That is a great event for any organization to go spend a, a, an hour or so there and it, see it, it some of the history is. and see some of the history of this town. It'll tell you about the Ovaltine. It'll tell you about the beautiful Sears homes we have throughout town. It'll tell you the history of how this started with a, a few farmers and Sid. <laughs> and then Sid decided he was going to sell all the land and he made a killing. He made a, a bundle of but No. But it'll tell you how this all started, and they used to fare, they used to bring people out of the train to look at buying lots and then commuting into the city. Like we said the other uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we said that yes, that uh, salesmen would be out there and say, "You can get into downtown Chicago in a half hour from right? your lot in Villa Park or your house that we're going to build for you in right. Villa Park." And, and that's uh, a big that was a big deal. That was a big selling point out yeah. here. And then. Uh, yeah, when that was going through and they were doing that, there was no uh, 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 roads were very poor. Right. And right. there was no such thing as the Eisenhower Expressway. To no, get there wasn't. Down. There wasn't. So what else, what do we got going on? I got something to talk about. I got something to talk about, so I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt. Um, first of all, this uh, I want to say thank you again to all the volunteers that came out and helped clean up the metro station. The metro station looked beautiful. I was at it last week. They planted flowers. They put down new mulch. They they did an absolutely tremendous job. They then uh, Parks and Rec went out there today and they power washed the whole thing. Uh, you probably won't see it because of the rain, but they it was just a great great community effort. So I want to thank everybody for that. I also want to thank all the neighborhood watches that celebrated National Night Out on last Tuesday. Tuesday the second was National Night Out. It's sponsored by Target. It's a national effort to talk about neighborhood watches and taking back the blocks you live on, making sure you know your neighbors, making sure what's going on. So I drove around, uh, Kevin Cotter, head of the neighborhood watch of the police, Citizens Police Academy, uh, Chief Heidelmeier, uh, Sergeant Johnson, <clears throat> all of the, us were in different vehicles and we were driving around to all these different events. A lot of the neighborhood watches held different events. So we went to all the events, we said hi, and we found out what was going on. We saw great amounts of community support at each of these events. Uh, people who care about their block, people who are trying to keep their block safe. So it leads me to another point. If you want to start a neighborhood watch, please feel free. Call the village, call the police station, 834-7447, 630-834-7447. Talk to Kevin Connor. Kevin will come out. He'll do a presentation for your whole block. He'll talk about what a neighborhood watch needs, and they're not very difficult to start. It's pretty easy, but you get all your neighbors involved and watch it out for each other and watch it out for your block. So that was a great event, and I thank him. Uh, I am very, very appreciative of that effort, not only by him, but of the police department as well. Mm -hmm. So, and then now, to lead into next week, 
you want to come out, it's a great time. I love it. I love it. It's the 50th anniversary of the Ch- Villa Park Chamber Swing and Sizzle event. It's Wednesday, August 17th. <coughs> Tea times are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Cocktail hour and mixer at the gazebo is at 4.30, and the steak fry dinner is at 5.30. So, Chamber puts on this great event every year, this steak fry and sizzle. Uh, Mike's Meat Market donates a lot. Mike Hirsch over at Edward Jones. Steve Sabatino at Superloop. These are all directors, and these are all people heavily involved in your Chamber of Commerce, local businessmen who try deeply to uh, instill some value and bring more market uh, goods here to Villa Park. So please come out, support it. It's a great time. Uh, if you want tickets, you can go to uh, the Chamber's website or you can call 630-941-9133 and you can call the Chamber there, talk to Alicia Bailey. She's the Executive Director. She'll be more than happy to sell you tickets or stop in at Prairie Path Realty because that's Doc Hensley. Doc Hensley is the President of the Chamber. He'll be more than happy to... Uh, to sell you a ticket or two right there. Mm-hmm. Right on Park Boulevard. So right, right on there. Park Boulevard. But Just a great time. Wagner. But a great, great time. So look forward to that. Uh, what's the cost of that? Uh, you know what? Uh, tickets, steak fry tickets are $40. But you get a steak, potato. You get everything you could want. Um, I believe that also includes your beverage. But I got to check on that one. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that one. I'll have more... Uh, uh, more info on that next week. But I, I believe it always has included your beverage. Isn't that right? No, I think in the past, you, you it was a bring your own bottle. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and, and no, because every year, every year uh, Schaumburger uh, Brothers was another sponsor uh, of the Chamber and another great contributor to our Chamber. Schaumburger Brothers helped, always contributed to... Uh, to that. Well, I may be living a little farther in the past. You're way farther in the past, when, uh, back when they were making the making the bottles in their in their bathtubs, right? Well, no, not quite that. <laughs> uh, uh, I broke too many bottles in the bathtub. But no, very nice. Uh, my friend from uh, DuPage Realty, uh, not DuPage Realty, from uh, Accounting Services over on uh, Villa Avenue, who we had the. Uh, Misfortune to lose a year ago. Dick uh, Illion right. would uh, uh, bring all his uh, people and uh, uh, had a cooler full of goodies. Right. It was always good. <clears throat> well, they were oh, always good times there. What else we got going, Sid? Well, I wanted to talk again about the, remind everybody bingo at the VFW Tuesday night. Tuesday nights. Starts at 7 o'clock, early bird game at 6.45. If I show up, do I win guaranteed? Uh, almost guaranteed, absolutely. I, I guarantee it. How come I think Sid is full of it? I think Sid is so full of beads, it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, the beads were good at the picnic, too, by the way. Very good. What else you got, Sid? Uh, I did want to mention, too, that uh, <clears throat> if you want to hear some uh, stories about the uh, uh, World War II, the VFW, has still got a couple of guys, uh, well, mainly me, that uh, will be glad to come out and uh, uh, talk and uh, even talk on the patriotism. Uh, All right, I got, I got a couple real quick. Be prepared, September 10th, Villa Park Historical House Walk. That'll be coming up. We'll, oh, have more information. we'll have more information on that in the future. Right now, you can adopt a fire hydrant. We got 30 seconds. Adopt a fire hydrant, go onto the Village website, Paint a fire hydrant in Villa Park. Let's make the cows of Chicago look like uh, they don't matter. The fire hydrants of Villa Park, let's make them look pretty. Let's do some artwork. Let's make them look good. Sid, say goodbye. Rich, Rich was uh, uh, Rich was talking about that. And yeah, we've got a new timer out here. That, so now the music is coming up, I guess, and I have to talk louder. Goodbye, everybody.